Yo, what up? It's your boy, and y'all already know. As, as you can see on your screen right there, Black Ops 2 Nuketown 2025 map confirmed as pre-order bonus. It's been out for like a week now or whatever, or like two weeks. But uh, yeah, it's confirmed, people. Uh, you know, sorry I haven't been uh, up to date with stuff, but you know, hopefully you'll like this. Um, I'm excited because, you know, Black Ops, you know, of course, the first one, Newtown was a small map. You know, you kill a lot of people. You know, so much stuff was going on in that map, especially when you're playing with two good teams. So, it was always exciting. And now that it's going to be in the future, 2025, I'm super excited about this, people. I don't know about you. Tell me in the comments below. Um, but I'm excited about this Newtown 2025. Definitely, um... If you pre-order it, you get it when the game comes out. Uh, I know the first wave of Black Ops 2 was, uh, was uh, you know, double XP. And, uh, you know, that's for Modern Warfare 3. And this one is for uh, Black Ops 2, of course, because you're pre-ordering. Um, but, no, you don't get a Modern Warfare 3. You have to wait till you get the actual game, November, uh, whatever it comes out. I forgot. 13, 12, I forgot. Anyways, people. Um, yeah, man. I think it's type here. I don't know. Like I said, tell me what you guys think of it. I think it's pretty cool, people. Um, but this is kind of like old news right here. Yeah, November 13. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty cool, man. Like I said, definitely tell me what you guys think. And, uh, as far as today news, the, <clears throat> the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 trailer just... There was a trailer of the villain just came out just right now and uh well I don't know when I'll be posting this. Probably post this tomorrow, so maybe yesterday or days ago. But anyways people, um you know, tight man. Tight. I, I saw the video, it's right here, it's only a minute and thirty five. But I think it's tight man. They're introducing the villain. Um you know like I said in the beginning I I, you know, in the beginning, I was a little iffy about Black Ops 2. But when the E3 uh, trailer came out, was, they showed gameplay. I'm excited. And then after that, they showed the zombies. And it's going to be a huge part of the Black Ops 2 uh, game. Uh, I'm excited, people. I don't know about you, but I'm excited about this game. I know a lot of people are expecting it to fail. I know a lot of people, you know, as far as the Xbox 360 uh, members, you know, Halo 4 is coming out the same, you know, and that's supposedly going to dominate Black Ops 2, but, you know, who knows? We can only spectate people. We don't actually know when it's going to come out, but, uh, yeah, let me re read you a little bit. The clip provides a <clears throat> sneak peek of the antagonist, Raul Mendez, a villain determined to use the world increasingly autonomous armies against themselves the sweeping montage of blossoming explosions shootouts and rain show of the action the series pumps out with every new edition so that's pretty cool it isn't a whole lot of information about black ops 2 blah 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 it's a direct sequel to black ops yeah thanks for the info you're going to play as alex masson was it mason i don't know I think it's Mason. Mason from Black Ops. It's a general. What was I say? Uh, I don't even know people. You're going to play as David Mason, the son of Alex Mason. All right. In the future, you're going to visit Woods, who's telling you about a time when he and your father met the villain of Black Ops Two. So you're living out the part of a Cold War where you see through their eyes as this villain is going to be the central story of Black Ops Two comes about you're going to see with this motivation right here in the future time period that when you come and see that villain is capable of uh, was a character from black Ops survived the hand grenade was assumed killed it wasn't there yeah everybody was shocked that he came back uh what's his name the the woods guy uh but yeah like i definitely leave uh you know what i mean i definitely leave the trailer down below so you guys can see it uh, I know I, I know I'm kind of lacking and you know, in information. But hopefully you guys enjoy this, man. Like I said, I ain't your number one source of uh, you know Black Ops 2, man. But uh, you know for uh, cer certain certain uh, 
you know, certain situations, I'm going to bring you guys the information. I'm Like I said, I'm always trying my best to bring you guys the number one uh, story or the number one, like, thing that's happening that's, you know, that's cool, I guess. But, uh, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Uh, definitely tell me what you guys think of the new town 2025. Is it going to be excited? For you? Are you excited for it or not? I'm pretty excited. I mean, it's in the future. I'm sure you guys played on Black Ops, you know, of course, number one. I'm definitely excited for that. And tell me when you watch the trailer, watch this trailer and come back to my video and comment on this video. And tell me what you guys think of the trailer, man. I mean, you know, they give us a little bit of right there. Uh, I would play, but you know, copyright and all that stuff. But uh, anyways, people, hopefully you guys enjoy this. I know I ain't your best number one. Uh, what's it called? You know, number one source. But you know, it seems like it's gonna be good. The villains, you know, in the future is coming back. Uh, you're gonna be playing as Alex Manson from Black Ops. Oh, hold on, you're gonna play as David Manson, the the son of Alex from black ops because you know we're in the future uh what i'm getting at here is probably you know let's go the campaign i think is gonna look tight man once you look at this trailer people man you know it just from the past from e3 and of course they're gonna keep showing new stuff and all that but man i'm i feel like the campaign you know it's, it's gonna be good and that's what's missing a lot of these days and uh you know in games these general man people worry about the multiplayer and you know that's fun for me i obviously play a multiplayer but uh i also want the actual game itself to be its campaign you know like back in the old days but uh you never know man I have a good feeling about this and you know hopefully you guys uh like this and uh see you on the next one you yeah.